You're now headed into a chapter where we learn how to deal with systems, systems of equations. And systems of equations are two or more equations with two or more variables in which we attempt to find uh, answers which will solve all those equations simultaneously. Sometimes these are called simultaneous equations. Now in particular, we're going to handle the linear systems of equations in, in this chapter. And here's an example. Solve negative 2x plus 3y equals to 1, 2x minus y equals to 7. And these are linear because each variable carries an exponent of 1, nothing different. And so you, you may, I hope you recognize these as both being also equations of lines. So in a sense, there's also going to be a geometric um, component underlying this, showing that um, what we're really solving for here is where two lines intersect, where they cross. All right, so first of all, what does it mean to be a solution to a system of equations? And looking at the second equation, I can come up with a solution. Suppose that x was equal to 4 and y was equal to 1. Then if I plug these numbers into this system, we would have 2 times 4 minus 1 equals to 7. 8 minus 1 equals to 7. And that works. Um, you could imagine other, other um, numbers you could plug in. For example, x equals to 5 and y equals to 3 also solves the second equation. So for example we'd have 2 times 5 minus 3 equals to 7, 10 minus 3 equals to 7. Alright, well we can actually find an infinite set of solutions to a linear equation. And in fact that infinite set of solutions is precisely what gives us the graph of a line because all those solutions line up on the xy plane in a straight line. The problem is, is that um, almost all these solutions do not fit into the other equation. For example, if x is 4, y equals 1 up here, then you would see that negative 2 times 4 plus 3 equals to 1 gives us negative 8 plus 3 equals to 1, and that's not true. And so this set of numbers, or this coordinate point, does not satisfy the top equation. I believe you'll also find that the bottom set of numbers does not satisfy it. So our challenge is to find the set of solutions, or the solution, in terms of x and y, which fit into both equations at the same time. Now, I've given a very easy one to, to start off with to give you sort of an idea how we're going to go about solving these. And I said this is easy because we can solve this system rather quickly without any, any alterations. If I just add these equations together, then negative 2x and x cancel one another, so this would give us a 0. And since I'm adding 0, I don't need, really need to write it. So x's cancel, or are eliminated. 3y minus y is 2y, and 1 plus 7 is 8. So by combining, or by adding these equations, we produce a simpler equation. x has been eliminated, and that's why this is called an elimination method. And now we can solve for y. Divide both sides by 2, y equals to 4. Alright, now what this implies is that this y is a shared solution with both of these. And so if I plug y into the value for y into either of these equations, let's suppose we went up to the second equation, then we would have 2x minus 4 equals to 7, add 4 to both sides, 2x equals to 11, and now divide by 2, and we see that x equals to 11 halves. You could write 5 and a half, but in algebra we usually write fractions as, as uh, 
improper fractions. But always do reduce your fractions if you can. All right. So um, now let me let me erase this work here, and I want to check this solution. And so if I go to the top equation, negative two times eleven halves plus three y equals to one. I want to verify that this answer will fit this equation. And so we see that the twos cancel. And you know what I forgot? I forgot to put replace y with four. That's three times four. I, I'm replacing both x and y with these numbers, so I need to put the four there. All right. Uh, the twos cancel because that's the numerator and denominator. So I have negative 11 plus 12 equals to 1. And you can see that's true. So that checks. And let's verify the second equation. 2 times 11 halves minus 4 should equal to 7. And again, we have a, the 2's cancel. I ended up with 11 minus 4 equals to 7. And that's also true. So we have um, a set of numbers which satisfies both equations simultaneously. That is the answer. And in fact, in this chapter, because of its geometrical um, analogy as being the intersection of two, two lines, then we often write these answers, or you can, if you'd like, as a coordinate point. And so in the context of these problems, an ordered pair, x, y coordinate, would be interpreted as the solution to this problem.